The Focusrite Sapphire range. The only interfaces with Focusrite threes. Focusrite, the interface company. We're here at the 2009 Audio Engineering Show. I'm here with Guy Lewis, who is the director of Questhead Monitoring Systems, and they've got something new, big, and very exciting looking over here. Tell us, um, how long has this thing been in development? It looks great. Well, to be honest, Paul, it's, it's been in development. Roger's been working on it probably about two and a half, three years. Um, he, uh, he was asked for something actually bigger than the, the, the S series, which is our sort of mid-price project monitor range. Yeah. Um, somebody wanted, we, he was asked for something to be the next step up, but which probably wouldn't step on some of the bigger systems and the custom systems he does. So he started to look at what he'd be able to do, um, both in terms of moving the amplifier power up and putting you know, the Quest technology into a sort of mid-sized product. Um, but over that sort of two and a half, three years that he has been working on it, uh, the company has sort of ebbed and flowed within its previous ownership. So the resources never really got to the point where he could finish it off and do the job he wanted to. Um, we took over the company a few months ago and I actually started working with him on this about six months back when we first started to talk about possibly you know, what was going to happen with the next generation of Quested the company. So the, the product itself, which is the V3110, is probably a couple of years old in terms of germination, but this is the first time we've actually had it to bring to a show and show to the world. So it's obviously an active three-way with a soft dome mid-range. Yeah, Roger's always gone to using soft dome technology. It gives us a lot a lot longer listening time without any fatiguing and a lot easier going over longer periods of monitoring. Hmm. So what are the uh, unique selling points of this? I mean, what, what did you see in other monitors that you thought you could improve upon? I think something he wanted to do was um, bring, we, obviously he's, he's very well known for some of the, the big custom systems he does, yes. um, but we needed to have something which would be smaller and more manageable in a smaller footprint as possible but retain the dynamics of some of the big systems. So um, one of the, the, the areas he did want to work on was putting a very high dynamic amplifier product into the Quested's. So what he's done is he's combined his traditional class AB amplifier that we use on the highs and the mids with a, a 700 watt class D module to run the LF. So what we end up with is a, a thousand watts of overall power, which yes, it'll fill a big control room, but it'll also give some incredible dynamics and headroom. So, can we turn this around and see the back? So, we have um, uh, a whole range of uh, subtle EQ tweaks, depending on what sort of room and positioning we have. We've got both a high and mid frequency contour control at plus or minus 1 dB or zero. We have low frequency compensation for use with a subwoofer at minus 6, zero for flat, plus 3 and plus 4. So here we're just running it at plus three, just to be able to get a little bit more low frequency into the, uh, the noise environment here. Uh, input level, uh, combo connector for quarter inch stereo jack or an XLR. Um, and that's about it, a great big, great big heat sink for when a thousand watts actually starts kicking in. Mm. So it looks an impressive piece of kit. I suppose the question is how much is it going to cost and when do you expect to be shipping? This is already shipping, which is great news. It's nice to come to a show where something's already been bought by uh, customers in Israel and in Luxembourg. We've already got them into studios there, one of which is a 5.1 surround sound system where they've liked the small size for being able to sort of fill a very large room with phase coherent 5.1 sound. Um, the cost in the UK is 3770 per pair plus of that. So we won't pretend it's the cheapest thing we do, but it is uh, pretty good value in terms of bringing Roger Quested's big studio performance into something of a, a smaller, more manageable footprint. The, um, the HF mid-range section is rotatable, so it can be mounted horizontally on meter bridge, stands, uh, soffit mounted if you're a little bit careful with the, uh, the air, con air cooling and things like that. And do you have a recommended sub if you're using it as part of a 5.1 system? We do have our own subwoofer systems and next year we'll be launching um, a, a brand new system probably January, February next year to complement this and other models we're going to be introducing next year. 
Um, that will be a, a standalone subwoofer with in independent electronics and a rack mount amplifier and EQ unit. Um, we've increasingly found that putting amplifiers inside subwoofers has given us headaches in terms of sound quality, reliability, all uh, the microphonic problems of little transistors being bounced around at 30 times a second. So we've taken the view that it's better off to have our electronics of the subwoofers away from the subs themselves, rack mount them, and it improves the system performance completely. Mm, that makes sense. Well, thanks very much, Guy. I think we're up to speed on that now. Pleasure. Thanks, Paul.